Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering send and control send which allow you to send keystrokes to your computer or specific application of your choice. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. So let's get started. How you send a string of text is in this manner. If I save this and run it, I'll get that text. This is programmatically sent, reproduced. Now you can also send special keys like control, which is represented by a caret and C to copy a text that you have highlighted. I'm just going to put a sleep of one second before that happens and show a tooltip to say the text is copied and sleep for another three seconds and paste by going control V. And down here, I'm just going to write a random string of text. Actually, let me just change that to two seconds. I think one second might be too short. So if I save this script and run it and highlight this text immediately, I'll get the tooltip set that says copied and if I go down a few lines it will paste that string that I have copied. Alright next up is how to send the keys down and up separately. So so far you've seen the keys being pressed down and up all together but you can split them out by going control down and control up in this manner. This is equivalent to caret and c but for some reason, for whatever reason, if you want to just send it down or send the up um, command for the for the key, you can do it this way. And if you just go shift down, for example, what's going to happen is right now do I have caps lock off. Now, if I go ahead and run this, if I press a key, say A key, I get the the letter A in capital letter instead of a small letter even though my caps lock is turned off and B C D E so although I'm not pressing the actual shift key down the computer is pressing down my shift key that's why I'm getting um, all these letters being uh, printed in capital letters and if I press my shift key once then it will unlock that shift down command so if I press A, B, C now, you can see that the small letters are being printed instead of capital letters. Alright, and if you want to send the keys faster, you can go set key delay comma minus one. I've shown you this, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. So I've got a long text here. If I save this and run it, it sends a lot faster than had you not set that up and run it gonna be a lot slower so the set key delay command uh, combined with a negative one will remove your uh, delays that exist between each instance of sending each of the keys and if you want to send keys in multiple lines and I'm going to use a variable as well within those multiple lines you can go send and comma go down a line and then open and close parenthesis and what you do is just type out your lines and if you want to use the variable you wrap the variable in percentage signs and line 4 and if I save this and run it then I'll get the string reproduced. So what can you do with the send command? One example of a use case for send command is to remap keys. Uh, for instance, you can combine uh, special keys like Control Alt with another key to um, send the media control keys. So, for instance, I've got a series of hotkeys here. So, Control Alt and Enter will send the media play pause button. Control Alt and NumPad Enter will stop the media. Up will send the volume up key. Down will send the volume down key and mute will be done by numpad 0 left and right to navigate uh, between the media. So I've got some music here to demonstrate. So I'm going to run this in Windows Media Player and make this always on top. So 
Now if I press Ctrl, Alt and Enter while this media is playing, it will stop that. And if I run the hotkey again, it will play that again. And if I go Ctrl, Alt and Numpad, Enter, it's going to stop the media. And Ctrl, Alt, Up will push up the volume, Down will push down the volume. Ctrl, Alt and Numpad, Zero will mute. It's toggle mute, so if you press it again, then it goes on mute. And left and right, so if I go, I've got a few songs loaded up, I think. So Ctrl, Alt and Right will navigate to the next song next song and if I want to go back to the first song press the left key a few times and uh, another use case for the send command is to create custom shortcut so for instance if you have Excel and you use that often and there isn't a native Excel shortcut to say um, insert a an object and the only way you can do that is go by doing alt n and j key to bring up that window to add an object to the excel spreadsheet you can send those keys by using a, a hotkey and you can also make it context sensitive so win active and bring up windows spy so Windows Spy is the the script that comes with the uh, installation of AutoHotKey that gives you all this information about a particular window that you have activated. And we're going to use AutoHotKey EXE, Excel EXE. That is good enough. And it's a good practice to turn off the context sensitivity after you create your hotkey. So and I'm going to use Control Shift, which is represented by the plus uh, sign send and it was alt and j to um, bring up that add object window so if i save this and run it now instead of going instead of going alt and j if i press control a uh, control shift and n it will bring up that add object window. So in this manner, you can create your own custom shortcut where um, there is a, a way to reach a function within the application by pressing keys like Alt. And um, of course you can use other ones to page layout and all these options are available for you to create custom shortcuts out of. All right. I did say I will cover the control send command in this tutorial as well, but this tutorial is becoming longer than I expected and I would like to keep tutorial videos short. So I'll cover control send command in a separate video. And thanks for watching and watch that one if you're interested in control send command.